Imagine you leave Earth in a spaceship. You point it in a straight line. You never stop. You travel for millions, billions, trillions of years. Will you ever reach the edge of the universe? Is that even a real thing? This question is one of the hardest and most mind-bending problems in all of astrophysics. And there are only three possible answers. Either space loops back on itself, it stretches on forever, or there really is a boundary, a place where space and time simply end. Tonight, we're going to try and find out which one is real. Let me ask you a question you may have never stopped to think about. Why is the night sky dark? The obvious answer is simple. The sun isn't lighting up your side of Earth. But on a deeper level, why is space itself dark? Look up on a clear night and you'll see stars in every direction, suns just like ours, scattered across the cosmos. If the universe were infinite and eternal, then no matter where you looked, your line of sight should eventually end on a star or a galaxy. And if that were true, the entire night sky should glow as brightly as the surface of the sun. But it doesn't. The darkness tells us something profound. Either the universe isn't infinite, or it hasn't existed forever. This puzzle is known as Olbers's Paradox, and in solving it takes us back to the beginning of everything. 13.8 billion years ago, the universe began with the Big Bang. Not an explosion in space, but an expansion of space itself. The universe was once hot, dense, and filled with matter, antimatter, and radiation. And it's been expanding ever since. When astronomers observe distant galaxies, they notice something strange. The farther away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving away from us. At extreme distances, galaxies are receding faster than the speed of light, not because they're breaking the laws of physics, but because space itself is expanding. Beyond a certain distance, light emitted today will never reach Earth. That boundary is called the Hubble Sphere, currently about 14.4 billion light years away in every direction. But here's the incredible part. Because the universe keeps expanding, light that was once unreachable can eventually cross into this sphere. That's why we can observe a much larger region the observable universe. It spans 93 billion light years across. The absolute limit of everything we can ever see or learn about. Beyond that, space almost certainly continues. To understand what lies beyond, we need to understand the shape of the universe. At first glance, it feels natural to imagine the universe as a giant expanding sphere. That's what philosophers like Aristotle and Plato believed. But physics tells a stranger story. According to Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, space isn't flat. It's a flexible fabric called space-time. And at the largest scales, space-time can have three possible shapes. Positively curved, like the surface of a sphere. Negatively curved, like a saddle. Or perfectly flat. Cosmologists measure this using patterns in the cosmic microwave background, the leftover light from the Big Bang. The result? At the largest observable scales, our universe appears flat. That doesn't necessarily mean it's infinite. It could be so enormous that our observable universe is just a tiny patch of a much larger curved structure. But if the universe truly is infinite, Things get strange. In an infinite universe, space never ends. And if space is infinite, and matter can only arrange itself in a finite number of ways, then statistically, everything must repeat. There could be galaxies identical to ours, 
Earths just like this one. Versions of you watching this video right now. Except maybe in one version, they don't subscribe. These duplicates wouldn't be nearby. They'd be unimaginably far away. Distances so vast they may as well be infinity. The expansion of the universe locks us into a shrinking cosmic island. Today, 94% of all galaxies we can see are already unreachable. Every second, around 60,000 stars slip beyond our cosmic horizon forever. In the distant future, galaxies will fade from view one by one until the universe becomes dark and empty. Civilizations born trillions of years from now may never discover galaxies, the Big Bang, or the true scale of the cosmos. Not because the universe changed, but because the evidence disappeared. Despite all this, there's something incredible about living now. You understand the universe better than any astronomer did just 100 years ago. And even if the universe has no edge, no boundary, no final wall, humanity will keep exploring because curiosity is the one thing that truly seems infinite. Until next time, stay curious.